Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Neil Reviews It Classics. Neil Reviews It, what is it? It's the thing that Neil Reviews. Neil Reviews It, that is, if he doesn't screw it up. Hi everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Neil Reviews It Classics. Today, we are going to be discussing the classic film, DC Cab. It didn't age great. <laughs> DC Cab, the movie from the early 80s about a struggling cab company and their shenanigans. I guess it's similar in theme to like meatballs and stripes and like those Bill Murray, early Bill Murray movies and just like goofy prank movies. But it had a plot, mostly. The movie starred uh, Max Gale, who was... Uh, I think his name was Wojnikowski on Barney Miller, which was like an early 80s, late 70s sitcom. I guess that'd be 70s. It was like a late 70s sitcom. Hmm. Maybe early 80s? I can't recall. But I I do remember that being a fun sitcom. I, I, I haven't watched it since I was very young. I wonder, I wonder if it holds up. I'd like to go back and take... Take a look at a few of those episodes. I feel like the strong sitcoms from that era were super strong. Then there was the not so strong. But the strong ones still hold up. Like Three's Company still holds up as one of the greatest sitcoms ever. All in the Family for sure. The Mary Tyler Moore Show. All those episodes are still super funny. I bet it probably holds up. I mean some of the stuff might be a little problematic but... I think it's just like a well-written sitcom. I think those are just, those are the blueprints for what we're watching now anyway, so. Max Gale was also in Gary Unmarried. I think that's Jay Moore. Is that Jay Moore in Gary Unmarried? Yeah. Yeah, that's Jay Moore. That was a fun sitcom too. That was real fun. Who did I just, I just shot another review where someone was in Gary Unmarried. Maybe Shirtless? DC Camp stars uh, John Casey, the guy who plays John Casey from Chuck, uh, the TV show that uh, Zachary Levi, I think, was the star of that. That was a fantastic show. It was a fantastic show with an incredible soundtrack. That was, that was some kind of show. I really enjoyed that show. That was a lot of action and funny. Uh, that's a right up my alley show. For That was a good, I really enjoyed Chuck. For it was on for a few, quite a few years, and it was real good. I really enjoyed that. And this John Casey from that, he's like the lead in this. He's the um, his name was uh, Adam, Adam Baldwin. He's a Baldwin, but not. He's not related to Alec, Stephen, Billy, or Danny. Are those the four? Bobby, Ricky. Ronnie and Mike. Mr. T is in this from WWE fame. No, I guess uh, the first thing was Rocky, I think. B.A. Baracus and A Team. He had like a, his own cartoon and then he had like another series and he was on like lunch boxes and coloring books. He was like a massive deal in the early 80s, like massive. Paul Rodriguez, who's a stand-up comic. I don't know what he's doing these days, but in the 80s, he was a stand-up. And he told he told a story on Late Night when they were shooting DC Cab. He did a bunch of coke with some guy on one of the trailers. And then was like, who is that guy I just did coke with? And they were like, oh, that's the mayor of DC, Marion Barry. <laughs> Uh, there's no reason not to believe that story because Mary and Barry got f had to was forced to resign for like getting caught smoking crack when he was the mayor. And then 
DC re-elected him because he was that good of a mayor. <laughs> uh, crack. Gary Busey, he he plays a lunatic. I guess th that's the that's his like true self, because that's like early in his career, and he, he turns out to be a lunatic in real life. I, I think he's playing himself in this. Uh, Whitman Mayo, who is just this like iconic black. Uh, actor, black comedic actor. He was in, he was Grady in Sanford and Son. Um, he turns up in a ton of stuff. I feel like I feel like he was in like a ton of Sesame Street episodes. Like he just he just turns up in stuff. He he's just this like he always plays like this old wise or old drunk mess. Um, yeah, he's like a great character actor. Whitman Mayo, I I love him. The Barbarian Brothers are in this. So these guys, they were like powerlifters or something. And they, in the 80s was such a weird time for that stuff. Where like football players would, like the Boz was a big deal. And like Len Matuzak was a big deal. Like people got famous in weird ways and then became like... <clears throat> I feel like now... If you're like an influencer or you get famous on Instagram or whatever, maybe they try to shoehorn you into like stand up or they try to like whatever, but then they'll just do like a reality show about you or whatever. They don't try to make you something you're not. They just try to exploit what you are and try to cultivate the audience that you have. But back then, if you got popular doing something, they had to like shoehorn you into like TV and movies because that was the only way. It was the only revenue stream to, to the only way they could capitalize on that. So these guys, the Barbarian Brothers, they were like twin brothers. They were like big powerlifter guys or big like uh, bodybuilder guys. They're in this movie. They're in like another movie together. They're in uh, Double Trouble. Twin brothers estranged from each other because one's a cop and one's a criminal. And now they have to team up to fight crime. <laughs> it's so yeah, it's brutal. Marsha Whitfield, she's got range, like she can actually act and she's funny. She was on Night Court. Oh, she was on Empty Nest also. And uh, the big one, Bill Maher, it was his first, it's like one of his first roles. I think Bill Maher's acting career only lasted like a few years. Like he went from, like he was a stand-up comic trying to make it, got a bunch, got casted in a bunch of things then figured out his thing, his niche, and then kind of like left acting behind him. Yeah, it's an 80s movie, man. The, the 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 cab company's struggling. The guy who owns it, maybe, not the guy who owns it, but like maybe like the, I don't know, there's like a, there's a bad guy. He's trying to shut him down. And then the rival cab company is trying to shut him down. And then John Casey is like this like new hip, guy and he's you know he wants to like infuse yeah we're gonna make it they're making it like a co-op almost and so there's like this typical 80s montage fix-up scene like from every movie revenge of the nerds has one and every 80s movie has like this montage of like we're cleaning and also we're dancing so they fix up the cab company and mr t's cab is gold and but then, like, there's a crazy complication. John Casey ends up in, like, this kidnapping thing. And so that's exciting, because then, like, the team's got to get together to save John Casey. Yo, for fun, I, Ceramic Dragon, I, I was, it was fun. It was, a, it's very fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Story, nah, whatever. Rubber duck, I guess. I don't know. The story is holes all over the place. But thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful quarantine. I hope you're staying healthy and safe and making good common sense choices that suit your lifestyle. Come see me live when this whole thing's over. And check out the 7-inch. You know the music. What is it? It's the thing.